Hello, brothers and sisters of land. Uh, welcome, welcome, welcome to my page. My business, my common sense. I try to keep it down in two minutes. If I go over to me, some, some very fucking important because everything I say is very fucking important, brothers and sisters of land and dark. Now, if you have any comments, suggestions, questions, or insults, or roast fest, you put it down below. You can subscribe if you like, and you don't have to subscribe. If I get a thousand subscribers, then I'll ask you for some money to make me a better studio and monies and get, maybe get a house and multiple wives. Okay? Now, I have to waste like about a minute of your time because a lot of people have to fly off. Fly off. I got to get you off. Get you off. Those of you who don't have a good enough attention spans, okay? You can't focus, okay? Okay. Uh, five. Four, three, two, one. Now a minute has passed. I'm busy. I can't always make videos. I make very uh, knowledgeable videos. I try to keep it down to the nitty gritty. I try to keep it as uh, simplistic as possible because I don't want to use too many technical terms because a lot of people get confused at what I mean. Okay, and um, I try to be creative with my wording. It doesn't make me uneducated to flip the words around a little bit, to confuse you a little bit, if you can figure it out. Okay? This video is going to be about my experiences with white women and black women, okay? Now, my experiences with black women and white women, as I said before in my past video, because somebody asked me, I said, what is your experiences? What is your experiences? I said, you, did you watch my other past videos? I say, uh, what do you think about white women? Now, white women, as like I said before, though I'm not really attracted to white women, okay, because of the factors of genetics and because they age faster and there's a lot more problems that go along with white people, white women, than black females when it comes to hereditary and their genes and their, their age processing and their health and their body, okay, and hypochondriac mentality ways. Hypochondriac means the person who thinks that they're mentally ill often. But of course, if you keep thinking that you're mentally ill, you will be mentally ill. As I've dated countless, I say countless women, and talked to countless women, including Russian women I've talked to, I've learned the pattern here. They're very nice and more docile. This is a fact. And most men will say this, okay? And as I go upon life, I try to tell men this of the same race, you know, of the same Set, uh, of the opposite sex who are white to beware of white women because they are to me they are the most dangerous okay and i try to also tell black men that you got to be careful man take out the money they even though they start off nice their other have other plans in store they have a pouch down there between their legs and when that pouch comes out and they don't even they can't keep up with your athleticism that changes everything changes over time a white woman will take you to court faster than a black woman okay They'll take you to court. I'm telling you, that's a fucking fact. Okay, I know countless guys. A white, a white woman. Okay, TV. As I said before, the TV program snapped is my proof of the ratio. How my, how many white women will kill a white man? So if you think of a white woman with a black man, it's mainly about something sexual. Okay, because white women love some black chocolate dicks. They love the motherfuckers. They love horse dicks as well, not just black negro dicks. Okay, they love pineapples. They love drinking the juice. Okay, they're the ones who said drink some pineapple to make that shit sweeter. Black women are not into that shit. All right, bestiality is more on the white side. This is my experience of it. When I dated white females, they easily let me in their house. They easily let me do this, and then but then I'm not attracted to them, so they'll try to hold on to me unless I can. You know what I'm saying? I just want to be a friend, and I'll be there. Okay. Because I understand their mentality. Okay, even though they can maybe more docile. Okay, even in Russia, even the most intelligent white woman overseas in Russia speaks more more fluent English than in Ethiopia. Isn't that some shit? I told you, you go. It's best to go overseas to the lighter skinned females, by fact and by far, than to go to those darker females because those darker females are definitely in more underdeveloped countries. Okay, these these is a fa it's a fact because I have experience with them. I've talked to super beautiful, fine black sisters in Jamaica and Barbados, but they had a mouth even though I haven't even encountered them. So now I'm gonna start talking about black sisters. Now my experience is black sisters more leading towards the 
uh, the darker Latino Mexicans, th those women are very sexualized. They have they have a bit of pizzazz about themselves, and they want to be they want to be in charge, okay? Especially, but me, the way I talk to them, I make them smile, so they let me in because I have a sense of humor, okay? I, and also, I didn't want to really be their completely boyfriend because of the fact that they had flaws. I usually ask them, if you're a virgin, if you're not a virgin, then I already take the that's three points automatically. Because I, I kind of look down on people. If you got male guys on your phone, I don't like you. See how strict I am? I have, because I'm a high quality guy, I'm a high quality Negro, or a king's man, you want to say. Most men don't ask those personal questions. For, I'd rather masturbate and watch fucking porn. I, as I said before, this helps men to release their seed. You don't want to waste your seed in a female who's trying to plant. Like my wife, as you probably saw, you may think that she's probably using me, but probably it's herself. So what? I don't really care if she's using me because I have a plan upon a plan. I, ha I have the emerald pill, motherfucker. I don't have to worry about that again. <laughs> I make profit off of her. She don't make profit off of me, okay? So you got to set that shit up the right way so no woman can take advantage of you. I have to be in charge. I tell female straight, okay, you got this? You got this? I said, okay, I'm using a strap on dildo with that used ass pussy. Okay, and you can never, you can get your dick sucked. I got my dick sucked plenty, far more times with black sisters than fucking white sisters. But as I said before, I'm not really interested in white sisters because they have a tendency of aging a certain uh, process really fast, okay? Every time I see a female I knew from the past, she just looked butt ass ugly as to now, okay? But, but I know a lot of sisters who still look fine, okay? Because they're dark chocolate, okay? and I told you that color skin it's more exotic. I'm just being honest with my experience, okay? I have seen a lot. I've seen two black pussies next to each other with different libias, and this is different sizes. And the vulva and the, the pit coming up, I know where the beans are at. I stick my finger. I do the dog. I am the gynecologist, motherfucker. I have a gynecologist friend as well. Yes, I do have a friend that's a gynecologist. But of course, people don't listen, okay? But it's okay. But the problem with black sisters is that it's just mainly their attitude, they just learn how to be submissive and, and, and drink some more of the fountain juice, you know, the seeds and be a little more nasty, more open. Stop being so cranky with the shallowness and it'll be different. But you can't. You, see, me, it's out. It's a challenge to me. I like when a female, when a female's a little raunchy. So my wife get a little, and I beat her over the head, okay? But she knows I'm mentally ill, okay? I'm just joking. <laughs> Maybe not, motherfucker. I'll beat you over the head. I'll beat you over the head. Okay. <laughs> with a fucking piece of cardboard and a tin can okay because you fucking insulted me okay and I fucked you up I took your shit okay so that's how I talk to women I said and as a matter of fact I'm gonna make another video called kick them out but of course that's the next video but the difference between my, my experiences between black women well, I just like black women more, even though they're raunchy. They don't give me no trouble. I meet their cousins and their brothers and shit like that. But we ain't fucking real raw. We ain't doing that raw shit. That raw shit is not happening. Okay, I'll do the touching and stuff, the massaging, the masseuse. But don't get me involved. Call me your cousin. I don't care. Once you, once I see that number in your phone, once I, no. <laughs> Unacceptable. I'm a high quality man. I don't have it in my phone. And even if I did, you wouldn't be able to see my phone. Because I'm not a sneaky motherfucker. I'm very honest. And I also know magic. When a lot of women move away from me. They, they, they don't fuck with me because I'm crazy. Because I have the emerald pill. So now it's eight minutes. Now you have to take make a choice, you guys. You can go overseas and talk to these type of women. You, the more English they know, this is advice, and she's white, the more likely she's out to kill you or she's out to get your money. A lot more white men have more money than black men, okay? And a lot more white men got more to lose. So that's why women disappear every fucking day because they run when the man is in charge. That's his house, and I don't think that it's right for a man to lose. I don't care if he was cheating, okay? She doesn't deserve half of anything. She doesn't even deserve any form of income. That's what the system has. It's, go it's going to change, okay? So, <laughs> y'all women... <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm going to stop going to court. They ain't going to work all the time. <laughs> They're going to start using evidence. They're going to start using DNA. And I think that will be a wiser step instead of hearsay. Okay? you got to record things. And if, if you're in a bar, there's no excuse for you. To, if You're likely to get raped. So so what? you in the bar. Okay? You see what I'm saying? The course is going to be like, you in the bar. What are you in the bar for? Take the Judge Judy approach. You're in the bar. You're exposed. Okay? You're likely to get raped. Okay? 
Okay, so should I go over 10 minutes about this, y'all? This is this is basic fact. I try to keep it down in the dirty. Yeah, I try to make you smile. It's, that's, that's why it's under comedy, motherfuckers. Okay. All right. These are the facts in America. Now, in other countries, I'm just going to repeat myself again. So you're going to get this through your head. My experiences is great with black women. And it's also a little bit better with white women. Okay. But the thing is that I like a challenge. Okay. Not, a, I don't, if the female, let's say, for instance, if the female gets loud with me, she never does. Okay. I don't have that type of females what I ran into that I got loud with. Either I'm living with her or she's living with me. She's in, if she, if you have a house of your own property, right? She's more likely not to get loud with you unless you start, you know, having babies with her or something. You, know, you got some sort of connection. Or you're trying to get married to her or some shit. That just she, you start starts showing the true colors after a certain period of time. But I never really had that problem because I never really got too involved in them sexually like that. Okay, but if you think I'm lying, that's fine. Okay, because I'm a nice looking brother. I know, I know. Okay, yeah, I lost my virginity when I was thirty years old, about thirty two, over thirty. I tell you that. So my wife is Ethiopian. She's a virgin. I may even get her fucking sister. I say this shit on YouTube because I'm the real McCoy motherfucker. I told you. I learned about that shit when I was a kid. Okay? If you look at my past videos, you know I'm the real McCoy. Okay? I, I see it in front of her. I see it. I, I laid two pussies together. I slap them with dildos. Okay? You never heard of shit like that, right? Before? Right, right, right. But other than that, peace and lefty brothers and sisters like, no, I'm going to make another video and it's going to be called Kick Her Out. Okay? Because Minto is on the rise and the court systems, it's going to change. They're going to start seeing patterns where where the roles will be switched in which men is going to say she raped me and we will see how that's going to play out today and I'm also going to make a video about that too as well peace